First up, you gotta make sure that the turntable controller is in a place that works for you. Now make sure the buttons are like this and your hands are ready to go. Now, each of the color streams represents a different music source. Those colors match the colored buttons on your turntable. Now, to control the streams, you want to follow the DJ actions when they reach the hit zone. Now, let's talk about tapping. When you see the tap icons coming down the stream towards the hit zone, you'll want to press the matching colored buttons on the turntable controller. It's just that simple. Come on. Let's get you started on continuous scratches. To hit these, you gotta press the correct colored button when they reach the hit zone. Hold down the button while you're moving the turntable forwards and backwards for the run of the scratch. Then you gotta let go of the button at the end of the scratch. It's just that simple. The crossfader is the slider on the mixer part of the turntable controller. Now it has three positions, DJ. Left, right, and center. Are you with me? Good. Now, you want to follow the crossfader actions when they reach the hit zone. Now listen carefully. If the left stream moves to the left, you're going to move the slider to the left position. If the right stream moves to the right, then shift the slider to the right position. If either stream comes back to the center, you got to move the slider back to the center. Are you still with me? All right, DJ. This ain't like learning trigonometry or calculus. You just got to be cool. Every time you play a mix, you get some stars. Now check it. The higher your score, the more stars you're going to get. And the more stars you have, the more DJs, music, venues, and cool stuff you'll get to play with. Now go on, DJ, and show me that you've got what it takes.